personal dilemma, we'll have no fear because we are here to help. It is time for What's Your Problem, OK? Ooh. That's so sincere. Uh, first, well, problem? because I am sincere. It's our job here. <laughs> our first problem comes from Instagram user Lore443. Watch this. So I'm getting married later this year, and my fiancé and I couldn't be more excited. We've already started on the guest list, and we sent out our save the dates, and then some. Um, we're close with a lot of people at work, and they keep asking us about the details and the date itself, and it's starting to get a little awkward because we didn't invite them and we cut off the list. How would you guys handle? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think I would... Get out of the bag. I would, I would think I would tell the truth that we had to keep it very small for financial reasons, and maybe they could have a, a party afterwards or something. That's what I was saying. Have a do. party at the office, say, even though you can't come to the wedding, you can still give me money, and here's my address. <laughs> Gifts. Yeah. Don't ask for gifts. This is definitely part of planning a wedding. Yeah. The, the line is drawn so with your friends. How did you friends. do it? Because you must have had it's so, so many. many. I, mean, it, I, I think we ended up having 300 people wow. at the wedding. But the first guest list was about 900. No way. It was wow. 900. So you had, did you have an A list and a B list? There was a, up to a D list. Wow. Are you kidding me? It was, it and was bad. And you're on the F list. Because yeah, you're on the it all started, you know, if it was a bigger venue, you could invite more, and then it got smaller and smaller. But uh, yeah, the line is divided. Were there any hurt feelings, Lance? Did you yes, hear? Yeah. Definitely hurt feelings. Aww. A lot of friendships that were kind of definitely on the back burner now. Wow. Uh, yeah, That's I mean, it's, it's epic. You can't. I had to cater the, the event just to get in. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I did. Don't put that in nobody. I <laughs> catered the event. Nah, yeah, but you know what? The, there's nothing else you can do. So well, that's, there yeah. Isn't, yeah. All right. Good luck, by the way. Yeah. Congratulations, too. Our next problem comes from at Garage. Take a look at this. So there's this really cute girl at my gym, and I want to talk to her, but I feel it would be annoying to talk to her while she's working out. So what should I do? She said it looks like my son, Ben. That's not my son, Ben. <laughs> uh, I would not har ha hassle her. At, no, don't be uh, the no, creep. No. Don't Hold be on. The creep. Hold on. But there's a way to do it properly. Ow. Okay, Ow. so don't bother her while no girl wants to be bothered while she's running right. on a treadmill or on a stair climber. I think maybe as she's leaving the gym, maybe, like, offer her a bottle of water, buy her a smoothie, and be like, hey, I'm so-and-so. Like, would you like a smoothie? After? Like, it's generous. Sounds Just be like normal. you work there. Yeah, hey, yeah, would you yeah, like yeah. a smoothie? No, because uh, some gyms have, like, smoothie bars yeah, or little but refreshment but bars. Don't go to her car with her. It Don't stop her. Uh, no. It doesn't matter if you're at the gym, the library, grocery store. There's a twinkle in someone's eye if oh, they like you. And genuine. if you meet eye to eye and she doesn't give you back that twinkle, don't go up to yeah. her. But I think at all. it's maybe she's guys tired. Maybe she just worked out for an hour and a half. She doesn't have a twinkle but in her. Your endorphins yeah. are up after you work out, so it's actually a really good oh, time yeah. to they're, connect they're with the man. Man, like not get into the no twinkle thing. Don't, ladies, don't listen to him. They no twinkle. I wear contacts. So if you look at the <laughs> twinkle, you ain't gonna see it. <laughs> Unless it's cataracts. Buy the girl but, a smoothie. Uh, how about, how about how about a sweet note when she's checking out? Like Do you check? Yeah. It. It's that can we still be a little creepy at a gym? Because then you think if I was the girl, I'd be like, has he been staring at me for the last uh, two months? Well, yeah, like, no, yes. there's a way to go about yeah. it because it's at the gym. I had a guy she talk to me as I was on the treadmill because you know my butt looks good when I'm moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, he's it was kind of creepy. I don't think I think at the gym there's no good way. So just be honest and say, listen, I think you're an attractive woman. I would like to get to know you. And if she shot you down, call yes. me. I'm here. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah. I like that though. Just be honest. Okay. All right. Next dilemma is from at t -t 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 Tanya. Take a look. T -t 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 hey guys. So I hate my job, and it's really starting to affect my personal life. But my company has some pretty amazing perks. They'll even pay for a master's degree if I can just stick it out, and that's been a dream of mine for many, many years. So do I put up with this misery for another three plus years, or do I quit and try to find my happiness elsewhere? Stick it I out. No, no quit, out. quit, I quit. I have a great solution for this. This what? is, okay, so <laughs> when my husband went back to business school, he went through this dilemma. Well, they would pay for some of it, but he owed them a certain number of years. If I were her, I would go to HR and say, hey, listen, I'm not willing to make a three-year commitment, but I'm willing to make a year and a half or 18 months. Can we split the tuition so that way you're invested in it and they're invested in it, but you have an out? Oh, and that's a lot an of, interesting and approach. And a lot of times, HR departments are willing they will to work. Do yeah, that. If you're an employee that's well, valuable to them, they're willing to work with you on that. I have. What are the chances she still got this job after she just posted this up here mm -hmm. for all... No, she ain't got the job no more. She, you get the job, you're fired. Okay. You're not fired, girl, you're fired. But we said <laughs> earlier, you talked about go, following your heart. Yeah. So what, 
why shouldn't but she follow her heart like here? like this, college but debt, imagine how much in debt you can get from college loans and everything. If this is an opportunity of just sucking it up but for three years and, and, and being, no, but if no. you had to pay for getting a master's right. and you had to take on debt three or something. Three years is a long, a long time. time. It's a small amount of time in the bigger picture. You can get No, I think you shouldn't. If you hate your job, if you hate it, I don't think you're not giving yourself it. It's the only job that has that type of incentive. Right. So she can find another job that does it. She's have to after this. She could be a model. She's gorgeous. So hey, do that. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so our advice to you is... Uh, yeah.